I've never heard of a panzanella salad, so what is it, Mark? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what it is a, nice. bit, a bit later on in the show. But basically, it's a bread salad. A bread salad, OK. But it's a lot nicer than that. So you know when you've got some, you've got this nice, beautiful bread, and it's been in the fridge a couple of days, yeah. or it's gone a bit stale, that is mm -hmm. perfect. And this is a recipe where you can use up all that bread. Oh, so what's what you want? You want uh, stale bread, and you pop it in the salad, and it soaks up all that dressing. We've got tomatoes in there, shallots Yum. in there, and a beautiful sort of sharp, um, olive oil uh, dressing, really simple, full of flavour, lots of fresh basil as well. And, uh, and then we're just going to simply roast it with a beautiful chicken breast with some mm. extra herbs. Mm. Uh, summer's mm. coming, it's going to be perfect. Mm, perfecto, all right, it is going to be the perfect <laughs> summer dish. Great to have you with us. We're in the Becco kitchen and we're going to find out how to create this Italian panzanella salad with herb roasted chicken. And I was doing a bit of Googling to find out more about this salad. So it's a panzanella salad and a great way, Mark, to utilise bread that perhaps has gone stale. That's it, exactly. You know, because you, you always get that, don't you? Especially in summer, you know, it, it dries out a lot faster. Oh, yeah. So instead of chucking it away, just dry it out. And you can do this to loads of bread and then keep them in airtight air containers mm -hmm. and then just keep, you know, keep mm -hmm. using it. Brilliant, okay, cool. But then if you haven't got um, stale bread and you've got fresh bread, just dice it all yeah. uh, and then pop it in an oven about 100 degrees. Okay, cool. Uh, for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then it just dries out and then that's what you're left with. Yes. Yeah, okay, that is nice and dry, ready to go. Okay, what are we going to do with it? Let's get right. cracking. So we need to, uh, we need to cook our uh, chicken, chicken breast first. Chicken, yep. Okay. So, and it's a whole it. chicken breast, you're going to cut them? Yeah, yeah. no, we're going to roast it whole. <gasps> yeah, That's what we want to do. We're going to roast it whole. It keeps it nice and moist. Uh, it looks great. And then we'll slice it and then for the salad like, later. Mm. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so we've got a hot pan over here. Yes. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start it off on the stove. A little bit of oil goes in there. Get it hot. We'll get some nice colour on it. We'll flip it over and then we'll pop it in the oven and roast it in the oven. Okay, okay? cool. So when you're doing this, make sure you've got a pan that you can just put straight in the oven and then you okay, don't have to nice. like, transfer it. That's it, so really nice and hot, and keep that heat up. So we'll get a good colour for about three, four minutes. There's some tongs, I've brought some Thank tongs you. today. Thank you, oh yes, <laughs> good on you. Uh, and then once we get a nice colour and we're happy, we'll flip it over and then straight in the oven, we'll leave it that side down, so it'll colour on the other side and cook at the same time. Nice work. Okay, so that chicken's cooking away, what next? Oh, right. how, how brown do you want it? Just a bit of colour, okay, cool. Right. Trust me, I'll keep an eye on it, Mark, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> Someone put a timer on in the studio. <laughs> hey, right, so I've got a little bit of oregano as well. Okay. So if we're using dried herbs, you can put them on at this stage. Yep. If you're going to use fresh herbs, we're going to add them a little bit later. Okay. So or, or we're going to make a mixture of uh, with the dried and fresh herbs. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on there now. Nice. And then when we flip it over, that'll just uh, that'll toast as well. Brilliant. And then I've got a little tip to make the chicken taste even better Ooh. a little bit later in the second okay, part. Good. So I'm going to show wait, you that. Wait for the tip. Right, so we took our bread, so we've yeah. got our bread there. And what we're going to make is just a really, really quick dressing. So like a, a vinaigrette, what we call it. So I've got two different uh, wine vinegars here. So, yep. you know, you can make it with both. But I mean, my personal favourite is uh, red wine vinegar. But if you haven't got it, use white wine vinegar. Um, or you could even use balsamic if you wanted, you know. Or have a mixture. If you've got more, if you've got more, have a mixture. Great. So I'm going to pop a little bit of white, a little bit of red. That goes in there. Give it a good season. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of Dijon mustard. Oh, lovely. Is yeah. that all right? Turn it over. over. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> that's the colour we're looking for. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, really, really nice. And you can see I've left the uh, fillets on as well on the chicken, um, on the breast. That's fine. It's just, gonna, it's just extra protection, so it might take a little bit longer. So just be aware of that. Okay. Um, if you, if you want to cook it a bit faster, take the fillets off, and you can always keep them and have them as another dish. You know, they're really nice. Right, so a little bit of Dijon mustard. Okay. So it gives you a bit of acidity. It gives you a little bit of creaminess to it as well, and it sort of emulsifies or helps emulsify everything together. And then just take a fork or even a whisk, dissolve that in, and then some really good uh, extra virgin olive oil, and just whisk that in. You know, and then just get the right balance, you know, see how you want. Just really, really simple. That's but you correct. can see I've got quite a bit of dressing here. Yeah, it smells good. Um, but you want this dressing because this dry bread, you know, it's really hard and crunchy and dry now, but that is going to soak up the dressing Ooh. and give you that amazing flavour. And then we've got some uh, beautiful fresh ingredients there. But that's all good yeah. now. We're going to pop that in the oven. Nice. OK, good. Well, I'm starting to visualise how this is going to finish. It's going to be fantastic. We'll see the next steps to create this Italian-inspired dish in just a few minutes. I just say that chicken is smelling incredible. So it's been in the oven. Right, yeah, so it's been in the oven. So we sealed it off on the stove. We yep. put some oregano on there. We flipped it over. We popped it in the oven. So that's been about eight minutes in the oven. Mm. So you can sort of feel it now. You've got a nice little spring, but you've got some resistance there. 
Mm. So that's pretty much Useful. cooked. It's probably about sort of like a couple of minutes off uh, to be fully cooked. But we're going to, well, now we're going to do like a little tip, a chefy trick. Oh, okay, here it is, is a big tip. Ask, uh, you know, get you lots of extra flavour. Okay, good. Butter. <laughs> so, no, 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 it's good. This is good. This is why you come to restaurants. No, that's right. You don't see this, it just tastes good. Right, so a little bit of butter goes in there now. Yeah. Get a garlic clove. Yes. Just give it a good uh, smash with the back of a, a knife. Yeah. Pop that in there as well. So that's going to flavour the butter, flavour the chicken. And I've got a little bit of parsley as well, which we're just going to finish off right at the end. Okay. Just to, uh, you know, increase those herbs onto the chicken. And how long do you need the chicken and the butter for? Well, I mean, it's pretty much, it's pretty much there. Yeah. But what, so what you want to do is you want the butter to melt and yep. foam. Mix it around and then you want to baste it. Okay, Look at cool. that. So get all that butter all over the chicken. Oh, that's amazing. You know, do that for a minute or two, um, and then that is good to go. Oh, cool. And you want to, so you want to rest this. You want to do that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I want to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> Something I can do. So well, give, I'm not sure, but <laughs> give it a good base. Can, so put a little bit of parsley in there, and you can do that. Mix it in, oh, baste yep. it all off. You know, you just oh. get all those. You know, the parsley is actually going to cut through that butter. It smells insane. But we're only halfway there. This is just the chicken part of the dish. I know, and then all you want to do now is just rest it. So, you know, you can take that out and put it on a plate or put it on your board. Or if you wanted to, if it's out of, um, you know, sort of um, uh, safe hands, just leave it in the pan. That's fine. Okay, you know, it's just cool. going to rest. Nice work. Yum! <laughs> okay. Right, so, right. bread and our salad. So, I'm going to put the bread in there. Yes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of the dressing just straight on those croutons, and I want that to sort of soak up. Okay. okay. So first, and then you give that a good mix around. Let that soak up, and we'll add a little bit more dressing later. Right, okay. so we've got some um, tomatoes, tomatoes now. now. Yep. So, it's, you know, it's up to you now what you want to do. If you want to slice them, put them in chunks. You know, you can use lots of different tomatoes in there, like the little cherry tomatoes, big tomatoes, oh, green nice. tomatoes. You know, whatever you've got. You know, you can grow them all, get them all in the garden now, so you can start growing them for summer. And it's great, you know, you can you've got the herbs in the garden. You know, you can go and pick those, go and pick the tomatoes. You've got your stale oh, yeah. bread. <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it, it, you know, it's it's just such a great recipe. Well, it's utilising everything that you've got and, left over as yeah, well. Yeah, and utilising everything and just, you know, really cheap and really fast and, and really tasty. You know? And fresh for summer, which we exactly love. Exactly, fresh. I love it. So I've got a little bit more parsley. We can chop that through the salad. There's a little bit of chervil in there. But, I mean, pretty much, you know, as long as you've got your, your tomatoes and your basil, mm. you can add anything you want, really. So a few okay. more herbs in there. Get can you your put some cheese in there, there? perhaps? You've just been silly now. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, you could. Yeah, well, why not, you know? I'm thinking you're a little gonna, bit of you're mozzarella. Gonna eat it. Yeah, no, mozzarella would be, oh, beautiful, be beautiful in there. You know, you could do that. I've got a little bit of shallot there as well. OK. So this is just, um, you know, you could use a red onion if you want. That's fine. OK. But a shallot's quite nice, you know. You Brilliant. can grow these as well. Just nice, thinly sliced. And that gives you a little bit of acidity in the salad. Ah. So you can sort of break that up. That goes through there. Brilliant. You know, no, it's such a good way to use bread because you're right, sometimes you have a barbecue and you don't, you know. Yeah, and, and this is a great one. So a little bit more salt and pepper, a little bit more dressing goes in there. Mix it all around. And great idea, do this sort of like 20 minutes, half an hour, or even a little bit longer ahead of time. Okay. All those flavours marry. And you want that crispy bread to sort of have a little bit of texture, but be soft, but full of uh, vinaigrette. Mm. Okay, nice work. How are we just about done? Are we uh, done? No, that's it. That's it. So, so give, it, give the chicken cool. about five minutes resting, pop yep. it on the board, slice it, and then serve it with your salad. Really fast, simple, <laughs> summery dish. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the finished product. I can't wait to eat it as well. It's going to be delicious. And the rest of course, with the ingredients is at the cafe.co.nz. How'd your chicken turn out, Mark? Beautiful, nice and moist and juicy, oh. not, not rubbery, one bit. Nice Look at that. Work. Pop it on your salad, and that is a great uh, summery lunch day. Isn't that mm. brilliant? Well okay, done, mate. what are you going to do tomorrow? Right, I'm joined by a shy in the kitchen, and we're cooking a recipe out of a new book, My Indian Kitchen.